Today is St. Patrick's Day and today's gospel speaks about the parable of rich man and Lazarus. So in this parable, we can see there are two people mentioned mainly in this parable. One is the rich man and other is the Lazarus. Lazarus, the Greek meaning of that name is person who has been helped by God. Today, when we celebrate St. Patrick's Day, we know that St. Patrick is one of the greatest saints in the history of church. God has used him single-handedly to do a revival in the church of Ireland. So who is this rich man? Sometimes in our life, are we becoming the rich people? It could be me or you. Sometimes we depend on our things that is around us. It could be our wealth. It could be our uh, the house we, that we buy. It could be the leadership positions that we hold. It could be our academics. It could be our relationships that we take pride of. Whatever things that we take pride of in our life could be our richness. That is why St. Paul always says, I consider all the things in my life as rubbish because I know the value of Jesus Christ in my life. So who is this rich man? If we take pride about many of the things in our life other than God, we, we are becoming that rich person in this life. If we are filling our life with some things above God, we are becoming that rich man. So we need to really reflect on today. How is a rich man who is not showing mercy to Lazarus around us? So I remember a specific incident in my life. When I was growing up, I wanted to be a top in my academic career. I wanted to be a performing person everywhere. It was one of my idols in my life. I was not giving priority to God, but I was giving priority to my academics and my career. So that was my richness. I had to repent for that sin. I had to ask God's forgiveness in order to become the Lazarus so God can show the helping, um, merciful love to my life. I remember Archbishop Christopher Prowse has mentioned one time, if you want to know who is your real God, go to a, few, go to a secluded place or spend some time quietly and Think what is the first thing that come to your mind or occupy your mind for a long time. If it's God, it could be definitely God is your real Lord. Otherwise, if you are occupied with some other things, that is becoming your God. So today, God is actually asking us, are we uh, becoming the rich man or are we becoming that Lazarus? And in the first reading, we all already show has seen blessed is the person whose trust in the Lord. Blessed is the person whose focus is in the meditating in the word of the Lord. If you focus on word of God and his promises, our mind will be always staying on God. Otherwise, we might end up focusing on the things around us. So we should be called to become that blessed people by focusing on God. 